Hello! Welcome to day 13 of my 30 day drawing challenge. If you like, you can also take part and push your creativity with this challenge. You can start whenever you like because it's not necessary to start with the beginning of a month. You can use any medium and style you like, but try to challenge yourself from time to time. If you like, you can also show me your creations by using the hashtag HelloRambu, but you can also use this hashtag to show me your other drawings. I will put a link to the challenge in the description box, so you can simply download it or make a screenshot of it. Try to be creative every day, but if you're not in the mood to draw, it's okay. You can just continue another day. I want to push your creativity, but it's more important to have fun. Take your time to do the challenge at your own pace. And if you have any questions, just feel free to ask. Hello Rambonators! I get a lot of messages if I do commissions and because I have so much work to do, my answer is always that I don't do any at the moment. But now there are finally a few commission slots available in my Etsy store. So if you are interested in getting an individual hand-drawn sketchbook or a portrait of you as a manga figure or an illustration of your self-created character and so on, make sure to check out my Etsy shop which is linked in the description box down below. And if you are rather interested in getting my art book, also make sure to check out my shop. Today's topic of the 30 day drawing challenge is to draw an old person's face. For today's video I decided to make a little hard to draw for you, because it's been a long time since my last tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to draw three different faces with the help of simple basic guidelines and geometric figures. So let's start with the first face, which I want to look like a chubby old man. A simple way to make out the face proportions in general is to start with a circle and a straight line in the middle of the circle, which will give us a little help to find the chin. After that, draw a horizontal line right under and in the middle of the circle. Of course, you can use these guidelines also for drawing regular manga faces. I want him to have chubby cheeks, so I draw a triangle as a basic shape for his face. Now draw the eyes on the line above, uh, just as a little sketch. Don't forget to leave enough space between the eyes. Um, there should be enough space for a third eye, but it's just as an orientation. The nose should sit on the next line under the circle. Of course he gets a bigger nose, because he's an old man. And now I give his face a contour and, super important, a double chin, but leave some gaps between the lines, so his chin will look softer. It's important to draw chubby characters with light and curvy strokes, so it looks a bit more soft and not that defined. His eyelid is lowered outward. It gives him a slightly pathetic look, I think. I draw his eyes a little bit smaller, so he looks more mature and not that much manga-like. Now he gets thick eyebrows, which gives him a slightly surprised look. While drawing the wrinkles under his eye, always remember not to draw straight lines. Think three-dimensional. He has a round face, so the wrinkles will follow his shape. Of course he gets some saggy bags under his eyes. This is because old skin will lose elasticity with time. It's just a natural thing. The parts where his skin is thinner around the eyes will have more wrinkles. 
while the chubby parts are tightened because these are filled up with hmm, fat. Let's give him a funny mustache. Of course his mouth will be a bit compressed through his bald cheeks. Drawing some shadows on his cheeks and chin to emphasize them. And now to the hairstyle. What kind of hairstyle should he wear? Should he look like a sleepy scientist? Or like a punk? How about something decent? Maybe it's a tope. Of course his ears should not be missed. He gets some bigger ones. The combination of hairstyle and clothing will give a hint of his character. If you are drawing pretty chubby people like him, always remember that there is a shorter distance between his neck and his shoulders. Plus, he is an older man so he can have a banded posture. Also his shoulders will get rounder. I want him to look a bit like Maurice from Beauty and the Beast, a cute little old chubby man. And ta-da! The first old man is finished. Let's call him Benjamin. Little old Ben. The next character will also get a triangle shape, but reversed. Just start with the same basic lines I have already shown you. This one was a bit more difficult to draw because I suddenly turned his face sideways because of the position of his nose. So at first his face will look a bit off. As you can already imagine, he's a thinner character with small sharpen eyes, sunken cheeks, a crooked nose, dark circles under his eyes and his cheekbones look out. It gives him a sharpened look, just a bit like Mr. Spock. And of course, he's going bored at the temples. Would it suit him to wear crazy hair like a crazy evil professor? However, he will definitely need jack ears. Okay, let's give him some shorter hair too. And I will call him Samuel. Serious Sam. The next character gets a square shaped face. Start as usual and see, the circle really don't need to be perfect. Because it's just a guideline, just an orientation. Keep the imaginary third eye in your mind. Of course, eyes can also have more or less gap between. It depends on how freaky you want your character to look. I will place his mouth a bit lower. Now he gets a big smile. His wrinkles will follow this movement of his mouth. So don't forget to draw them. This smile gets some irregular looking teeth and gaps. It makes him look goofy and like he takes nothing too serious.
The wrinkles of his mouth follow the movements. Um, the wrinkles on his chin, or let me say the baggy skin is also connected. If you fill the gaps between the wrinkles around his mouth and chin, in your mind it will look like a diamond shape. So remember not to draw straight lines. Everything in the face is um, somehow connected to each other. His eyebrows are thin and it looks like he's not quite sure if Sam likes his jokes or if Lil Ben even understand what he said. His ears are a bit more pressed to his head and he gets a messy crew cut. Okay, it's obvious how we need to call him. His name should be Pete. Crazy Pete. Now I'm doing some final corrections and then I start to ink the lines with my brush pen. And this is basically all. It's just a quick little tutorial on how to draw all people's faces and how to get different shapes with the use of geometric figures. There are a lot more shapes you can draw. Maybe you will try it by yourself. And of course it doesn't have to be old people faces only. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye! Thank you.